Hello everyone, welcome to Zealand's class and today we are going to talk about further calculus and we are going to, in this section we are going to do some more differentiation and integration of other functions and today we are going to do derivative of inverse tangent x which you haven't touched before and now before we start, let's recap chain rule first which is dy over dx equals dy over du times du over dx. Well, we have talked about quite a few times now. So let's just try a recap exercise, which is y equals tangent 3x. Well, firstly, let's differentiate both sides, which is dy over dx equals tangent 3x dash, and let's assume 3x equals u first. And so now we have dy over du equals tangent u dash and now we know that tangent u dash is equal to 1 over cosine squared u so we have dy over du equals 1 over cosine squared u now so we need to use our chain rule to find dy over dx so now let's so we have this equation here so let's differentiate both sides, which will have du over dx equals 3x dash, which is equal to 3. So we know that d, so we know that dy over du times du over dx, which is equal to dy over dx. And dy over du we have here, which is 1 over cosine squared u and here du over dx is 3 so we need to times 3 and this is equal to 3 over cosine squared u which is equal to 3 over cosine squared 3x and that is our dy over dx so now we have so we have dy over dx equals 1 over cosine squared 3x times 3. And so, which, uh, so for general case, which is y, for example, y equals tangent ax plus b, our y dash is equal to ax plus b dash times 1 over cosine squared ax plus b. And that is and that is our general case so now let's so we are getting familiar with this right so now let's try an example well it's y equals tangent inverse tangent 3x although we haven't learned how to, the formula of this but we can prove it by ourselves once you prove and find out what is the value for that and you will see that it's the same as our aim which is differentiate ten inverse tangent x now so let's try this first well here's 3x the first thing we see 3x is let's change it into u so 3x is equal to u so y equals tangent inverse tangent u and now we learned like last year and in IGCSE which is tangent inverse tangent u equals y and this is meaning that tangent y is equal to u so it's in your so it's in the trigonometry topic when you are trying to calculate uh, angles and you use this formula so ten inverse tangent u equals y so tangent y equals u and now let's differentiate both sides which will we'll get du over dy equals tangent y dash and that is equal to 1 over cosine squared y so now we have du over dy now and now we our aim is to find dy over dx so now let's do we still need to use this part which is du over dx equals 3 And now, so we have, and we here, du over dy is 1 over cosine squared y, and we 
flip it so dy over du equals cosine squared y and now we times by that so dy over du times du over dx which is equal to dy over dx equals to 3 cosine squared y and we know that so we so it's 3 cosine squared y here and which is equal to 3 over second squared y because we know that 1 over cosine squared y is equal to second squared y and that's so we can write it like like this and now we so we need to so uh, now we need to find uh, so you know that sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha equals 1 so that is uh, a formula in the trigonometry part. And now let's divide it by cosine squared alpha on both sides. So we will have sine squared alpha over cosine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha over cosine squared alpha equals 1 over cosine squared alpha. And we know that sine squared alpha over cosine squared alpha is equal to tangent squared alpha. And here is 1. And here is second squared alpha. So now we have a formula here, which is tangent squared alpha plus 1 equals second squared alpha. So now let's, we can change this second squared alpha in, uh, y into tangent squared y plus 1. So this is equal to 3 over 1 plus tangent squared y. And because we... Uh, so 1 plus tangent squared y and here because we know that 1 squared y equals tangent negative 1 3x and we have 3x equals tangent y so now we can substitute that into here so tangent y is equal to 3x so e so this is equal to 1 plus 3x bracket squared and that is our answer so now if we have so if we have tangent y equals for example u here then here we will have 3 over 1 plus u squared so now we get our formula now which is tangent so inverse tangent uh, x so when you do differentiate, it, it is equal to, so y equals this, y dash is equal to 1 uh, over 1 plus u squared, uh, x squared, according to here. So if you have y equals tangent negative 1, 3x, then we, so firstly, we need to do the chain rule to find to times uh, 3x dash at the front. Then here, we just substitute x by 3x, so we will have 1 plus 3x bracket squared. And that is equal to 3 times 1 over 1 plus 9x squared. And that is the same as we did here. So which means this is, so y dash equals 1 over 1 plus x squared is our formula. So now we successfully proved that tangent, uh, well, I actually find out which is tangent, inverse tangent x is equal to this. Now let's try a harder exp example, which is differentiate tangent negative 1, 2x over x plus 1. Okay, so now first thing, let's, because here is a fraction here, and let's apply this formula to here which is tangent, so tangent negative 1, 2x over x plus 1, we do d of this over dx. And that is equal to, well, firstly, we need to differentiate 2x over x plus 1 dash. And that is the same thing as we have done previously, that it is 
coming out from the chain rule. And then we just times 1 over 1 plus 2x over x plus 1 bracket squared. And here, if we want to differentiate this, we need to apply our quotient rule, which is x plus 1 bracket squared, then 2x dash times x plus 1 minus 2x, x plus 1 dash. And times 1 over 1 plus 2x over x plus 1 bracket squared. And that is equal to 2x plus 2 minus 2x over x plus 1 bracket squared. And times 1 over x plus 1 bracket squared, x plus 1 bracket squared plus 4x squared. And that is equal to 2 over x plus 1 bracket squared times x plus 1 bracket squared. And here is x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 4x squared. And we can cancel out both of these. So what we left is 2 over 5x squared plus 2x plus 1. And that is our answer. So this is the all of today. And I hope you can understand the proving of y equals tangent inverse tangent x. And I think you should also prove y. So the differentiation of y equals tangent negative 1x. You should prove that the y dash is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared by yourself. Because what I did is the more complicated one, which is the tangent inverse tangent 3x. So you should try to prove this by yourself. And this is all for today. And if you want more exercises and more information, so you can go to the channel by Daniel Dallas. Okay, thank you.